And now we know, that human might not be ours after all. It might be the first one ever. Oh! This is new! <coughs> Papyrus and Sans are right there! Hello everybody and welcome back to Lightning Wing Productions. My name is Lightning and today I'll be your guide into the world of gaming. Last time on Undertale, shit went down. We got Temi's armor, we went ahead and faced Asgore multiple times until eventually defeating him, and then once we spared him, Flowey swooped in, killed off Asgore, and completely shattered the fourth wall. Then after we beat him, for some reason Flowey decided to turn back time, and we went ahead and became best friends with Papyrus, which is why we probably saw him on the save screen or the loading screen along with Sans. We... let's see, we became his friend and he gave us his phone number. See? Papyrus' phone. He said to go and make friends with Undyne next, and that's what we're gonna do. But first, I want to see what happens if we call his phone instead. Ring, ring! Snowden, home of Papyrus! That's the slogan, right? Uh, that's all he says? Okay, not that big of a deal. Uh, hold on. Give me a second to adjust my microphone. I changed my microphone's setup, so it's closer to me. So this guy, you guys can hear actually hear what the hell I'm saying this time. Because last time, I know you probably could barely hear me at all. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, let's make our way to Undyne's house, see if she's actually home for once. Actually, we should probably... Go ahead and take the... Whatchamacallit. Eh, we should probably go the long way around, just in case that boat actually skips on Dine's house. Wait, can we go... It's locked. Okay, darn. Uh, let's call Papyrus again and see what I... Oh! Oh, it moved, okay. <laughs> For a second I thought it disappeared. Ring, ring. Snowden, home of... Oh well. Guess we can't really talk to him. I was wondering what that key would open too. Alright. Here's the plan for today, folks. Today, we're going to follow Papyrus' advice and try to go make friends with Undyne. Then, we'll see what happens from there. Because I would like to believe that Undyne will point us in the direction of another person to make friends with. Like, say, Sans or... I don't know, armless monster kid? Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. <clears throat> that was close. Uh, I gotta say, I'm excited from last time's episode, cause just holy shit, people. I was... It was difficult get it was difficult getting to sleep because I was like what happens next? What happens next? Eh, we can take this person. Three gold for a fairy? Hop on. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's just save here just in case. Oh, yeah, that's right. Forgot. Wrong way. <laughs> okay, uh... Alright. This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept bird's offer? Get ride. <laughs> I like how this music is just so epic sounding. <laughs> for giving me a ride. Oh shit, Papyrus is here! What is that music? Oh ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? 
I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yes, although I can't imagine it going that well. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Bones? Oh, is Zundine playing the piano? Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think we've... Oh, shit! <laughs> she instantly recognized us. And she does not look happy. Why don't you two come in? Wow, that's a big sword. Hey, Undyne, my friend brought gifts for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Oopsie doopsie, I just remember. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. What the actual shit? Dude. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? Nope. To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes. To <laughs> that face! Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fr fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever wa Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You are the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Oh, is he trying to egg her on? Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you. What is with that f th 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 What kind of laugh is that? What a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. Wow, mean. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just gonna be friends. We're going to be... Besties. <laughs> She's as big of a nerd as Papyrus. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. That's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Uh, have a seat. Yes. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. I did not imagine Undyne being this skinny. I thought she there was like a ton of muscles under that armor. Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, okay. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Sugar goes in tea. Soda, hot chocolate, okay, I'll pick the tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Uh, yeah, I, we gotta pick the obvious right choice here, because it said it was the obviously correct choice. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. <laughs> Insert Jeopardy music. Okay, don't insert a Jeopardy music here. <laughs> uh, this is a weird way to make the game have a good ending. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. Take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? <clears throat> Sorry. 
is pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. This is getting really awkward. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Wow! <laughs> sort of. You know, I was a pr I was a pretty hothead kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. <laughs> I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt... bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. <laughs> anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm... <clears throat> So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. I'm expecting Papyrus to poke his head and go, Hey! Hey! I'm not a dork! But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look. He was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. That does make sense. He's too nice to be a fighter. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll go get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! <laughs> and if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. Uh... That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. Ah! <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. Envision these in vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. Strong! You punch the vegetables at full force. Knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah, our hearts are uniting against these he healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Uh, did she just shortyoken the tomato? Uh, we'll just scrape this into, into a bowl later. But for now, we add the noodles. Oh, we're making spaghetti. Homemade noodles are the best. How does one make a noodle? But I just buy store brand. They are the cheapest. Just put them in the pot. Uh, carefully. <laughs> Nice? Alright. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of the of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. She's gonna go full blender, isn't she? <laughs> Turn up the heat. Let the let the stove top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into a burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back.
Cutter. This isn't gonna be edible, lady. Wait, that's too. Uh, oops. Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Uh, shouldn't we put these fires out? So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Actually, the bracelets sound like a cool idea. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? Uh, we can talk about that later. For now, grab fire extinguisher. I can't force you to like me, human. You kidding me? I love you. You're awesome. You're the funniest thing I've ever seen. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. What is up with people with pride like this? Show me what you've got. Yeah, I'm just gonna spare her repeatedly. What the hell is the holdup? Come on already. Hot in here. I'm gonna keep sparing you. Fake attack. Boom. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force. You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I actually don't want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid... Sac... Satcher... What the fuck kind of... I've never seen that word before. <laughs> Excuse me if my grammar sucks, folks. Shtick, but... The way you hit me right now, it... Reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now, now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, heal. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. <laughs> That's what friends are for, right? Yeah, for kicking your ass when you're on your high horse. Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, I feel bad now. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime... I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. This is sudden, but... Can you deliver something for me? Papyrus suggested that I ask you, but he told me when I still hated you, so... Uh, anyway, here, just take it. You got the Undyne's letter. Well, what are you waiting for? Go deliver it. Uh, oh, yeah. It's addressed to Dr. Alphys. Okay, so we go to Alphys next. Okay, see you. Oh, the house is crying. Sounds like only fire lives here now. I feel bad for Undyne. Her house is up in flames. Wait, does this guy have anything different to say now? What? 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 It's a living. Okay. So, we became best friends with Undyne, surprisingly. Who is even more surprisingly skinny as a twig. So now, 
we go and talk to Elphys. No, 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 no! Ah! Jump cut. Okay, now we're off to Hotland. You know, sometimes I actually forget that this game takes place in a, a underground mountain setting. But this boat ride always reminds me, yeah, it's always underground. These guys have never seen the sun before, never seen stars. Or at least I assume they've never seen the sun before. Now let's see if we can get into Alphys' lab this time. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under? Uh, yeah, let's slide the letter under. Uh, oh. No, no. Is that another letter? I don't even want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? N no. I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um. It shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Did she just use a chainsaw to open a letter? Oh, that was a door. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all, the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. <coughs> Much less, um, this? And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Do what? Yeah, let's... What? Uh... Okay! We gotta make sure she knows that's from friggin' Undyne, because she's the one who wants the date. We can't do that to her. Oh, jeez. We gotta make this right. We can't let Undyne think we- We can't- Oi. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. <laughs> My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating. Stop. Um, I gotta give you items to raise your affection system first. <laughs> That'll increase the chance of successfully, successfully come outcome of... The I can't read right. I'm laughing too much. Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a game. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Yeah, I wonder who she was planning to give armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, I also brought you some waterproof cream from- I don't have skin- Yeah, it's obvious where this is going. This magical spear- Wait. How do you repair a magical spear? Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating start. This is weird. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh... She has no idea what to do, does she? Come on, we gotta, like... Eh, uh, I feel bad now. Do you... Actually, yes, I do. This is awkward as hell. Let's go to the garbage dump. How did we even get here? I see that annoying doggo in the background. I see you little shit. <coughs> this is where Undyne and I come all the time. Yeah, who do you think the letter was from, you ding dong? We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> she's really, uh... She's really the one who wrote that letter. Oh no, that's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well, oh no, here she comes. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea, so I'm gonna... 
do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Uh, you have you at least seen her? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, she realized how bad she messed up. She royally fucked up. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Yeah, you're full of it. You totally thought that letter was from me. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry. I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, really wanted to go on a date with. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. Yeah, not really. She's the one who asked you out. Not that you aren't, um, cool. But, Undyne, she's so confident, and strong, and funny. And I'm just a nobody. No, you're not. You're a scientist. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but... All I've ever done is hurt people. You haven't really hurt me, dude. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her, then she'll hit That she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? No. They... Yeah, you gotta be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. I'm scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. A nerd like her will like roleplay. That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. I'm worried that Undyne's gonna come across us halfway through it and get a big misunderstanding. Okay. Hi, Undyne. How are you today? I could say that! <laughs> no, I'm not gonna mess with her. Glad to hear it. So I'd like to talk to you about something. <laughs> no, I'm good. What is that, Elvis? Uh, you see, I... Come on, spit it out! I really want to know what she has to choose from. You see, I... Oh, forget it. Yeah, she's definitely planning on spilling her guts. 